Trainer or Heritage Chevrolet. Real-time closed captioning of Watchbox News is provided by a grant from the state of South Carolina. Live from the Watchbox Studios, this is Watchbox News at 10. Your late news one hour earlier starts right now. Columbia police are investigating after a USC fraternity member was found dead at a Midlands home today. The 18-year-old USC student was a member of Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity. Yeah, the teen was found dead this morning at a house about a mile away from the USC campus. Our Leah Holloway has been following this story since it broke this afternoon and joins us live now from Lee Street in Columbia with the very latest in this case. Brian, Janet, they are calling this a suspicious death, but aren't releasing many details on just what happened at this house right behind me here on Lee Street. Now, what we do know is this. Coroner Gary Watts says that authorities found an 18-year-old male dead in the home around 1030 this morning. The student was an active member of the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity, but authorities have not released his name. This afternoon, the national office of that fraternity announced they have put the USC chapter on administrative suspension. They say Say all operations have ceased at the chapter and they are fully cooperating with this investigation. While the details of the student's death aren't clear right now, one thing is for certain that this tragedy is a blow to the USC community. It's deeply saddened to hear of the man's passing. Um, it's another tragedy that's hitting our school. The university's already been hit very hard. Um, so this, on top of all that, is going to be very difficult for the students, I imagine, especially for his friends, some of which I know. Now, Coroner Gary Watts says there are no signs of foul play. An autopsy and a toxicology test will be conducted Thursday morning. Live in Columbia, Leah Holloway, Watch Fox News. University of South Carolina, they're about the circumstances surrounding the death, but at this point, the matter remains under investigation. While we await further information, we are focused on helping our community grieve and heal. And as Leah mentioned, that autopsy is set for Thursday morning. For much more on this situation, the very latest as it develops, be sure to click on this story on our website. Cooler across the area. We're 16 degrees.